start the trial court held that the plaintiff has prima facie established prior user of the mark manik chand by itself and its predecessors it observed that the question whether the assignments relied on from its predecessors by the plaintiff were genuine and are proved to be genuine was a question that could be decided at the trial and at this prima facie stage there was no question to discard these documents the documents relied on by the plaintiff prima facie showed prior user after referring to some of the decisions brought to its notice it held that the plaintiff has established a prima facie case for interim injunction it was further found by that court that the balance of convenience was in favor of the grant of interim injunction in favor of the plaintiff restraining the defendants from using the mark manik chand till the final disposal of the suit on appeal by the defendants the appellate court reconsidered the relevant aspects in the light of the arguments addressed before it and came to the conclusion that the trial court was justified in granting an order of injunction and the grant of interim injunction by the trial court could not be said to be in exercise of discretion which was either arbitrary or perverse the appellate court observed that the trial court at this stage was not wrong in coming prima facie to the conclusion that the prior user of the mark was by the predecessors of the plaintiff and the plaintiff regarding the argument based on delay and latches and acquiescence the appellate court took the view that the present action was triggered of by the filing of a suit by the defendants in the high court of bombay seeking to restrain the user of the mark manik chand by the plaintiff and under the circumstances the claim for interim injunction could not be rejected on the ground of delay and latches when both sides seemed to agree that the marks were similar the appellate court also took note of the number of prosecutions initiated against the defendants under the prevention of food adulteration act in respect of pan masala and gutka sold under the name manik chand and indicated that the plaintiff would be seriously prejudiced and its reputation affected if the defendants are allowed to carry on their trade in these products under the name manik chand thus finding no reason to interfere with the grant of interim injunction by the trial court the lower appellate court dismissed the appeal filed by the defendants but directed the trial court to try and dispose of the suit within a period of 6 months from the date of receipt of a copy of its order at this interlocutory stage it would not be proper for this court to enter into an adjudication based on the various documents produced before this court which are not of undoubted authenticity and the genuineness acceptability and value of which are mutually questioned stop Thank you.